So today we're going to talk about something that a lovely Mr. Gonzalez something something in the comment section pointed me to, which is that we cannot F12 into imported libraries or NuGet packages or system libraries or something like that. We can go to the definition of any code that we've written, but we cannot go to the definition of imported libraries. And today we're going to solve that problem. Have fun. Today is going to be a quickie. What we're going to do is we're going to decompile imported assemblies like NuGet packages or system assemblies or something like that. So to demonstrate what we're going to do, we're going to look at this for a second. When I go and jump to the definition of something, I can jump to that definition because it's, it's within my own source code, within the code that I've written. When I want to jump to the definition of console write line, which comes from the system namespace, I cannot do that. I get an error that looks like this. Error executing vim schedule lua callback doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doo. So now what we're going to have to do to make this actually work is we're going to have to enable the decompilation of the imported system library system console. Okay, we're going to do it like this. We're going to go into our NeoVim configuration. We're going to go into the plugins, plugins in it Lua and enable, in my case, it's enabling those three lines. We're going to load a plugin into our new configuration that enables OmniSharp to decompile the imported assemblies. So this is activated now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to enable the mappings that come with these extensions. So when we go down to the mappings lure, and we find here those mappings that say require OmniSharp extended and then do a telescope references and go to definition, etc. We need this line right here to go to definition to actually then uh, decompile the imported library. So now this, these two things are activated or in place. I have to, of course, comment out the default bindings. When I now go back to our little C sharp project and I go back into the program CS with the newly freshly loaded NeoVim configuration. And I try to F12, meaning go to the definition of this console write line, then I can actually see the definition. This is what we get, right? So this is the imported imported library. When you see we have a you have a folder that is called like metadata project omnisharp decompile. Omnisharp decompile. It's a decompilation what's happening here. So we import the library, which is still binary. And now if we want to look into the code, we need to decompile and the decompilation within Omnisharp is activated through this configuration. It's really just those three lines. You you add this plugin and then you activate the mappings. And that's it. Okay. So everything I discussed in that video is also an article, of course, that you find in the description of that video. Hope you enjoyed it. Wish you all a lovely weekend. Lovely weekend. Bye-bye.